I'm Susan Warhaftig and I'm a survivor of the Holocaust. I was born in Austria in 1937. We were just an average family living in Vienna. My mother, Helene, my father, Isaac, and my half-brother. By 1938, it was imminent that there was going to be a war. My father had a sister who lived in Switzerland, and we actually, when I was about 15 months old, we went to the border of Switzerland and unfortunately by a policeman from the Swiss told us we could not enter and we went back to our apartment. By that time, the Nazis were there. Jewish people had to wear yellow stars. The shops were vandalized. Jews could only go to certain areas. By 1939, in October, my father was picked up to go to a concentration camp in Germany, Buchenwald. By 1940, in February, my mother got notification that my father had died of pneumonia, but that was found to be untrue. He was actually murdered. My mother had a friend in the block of apartments we lived in, and she was actually Catholic. She came up with the idea to make me look sick. She cut her gums and she made, she put me into a hot bed. She made me do a motion into a potty and she poured blood over it. And I can still remember, this is when I was already about four and a half or so, there was a thumping in the door and um, they came in and one of of them looked at me and said, leave them. An upstander is someone who actually wants to help and takes the opportunity to do good. The next thing that happened, we were again rounded up in the street in a crowd and somebody said to my mother, come quickly. And we somehow got lost in the crowd and we went back to our apartment. My mother had two brothers and she had one brother who was living in Hungary in Budapest. Um, the war in Budapest broke out much later than in Vienna, and it was certainly safer to be there. One day we were at home, and there was a knock on the door, and two men came and told my mother that they had been paid to smuggle us across into, the hung into Hungary. Um, yes, they were paid, but they were also risking their lives. The only thing that they stipulated was that they would not take the three of us. Um, my brother at that stage was 11 years old, um, and um, I was just five. And um, the school where he went, they said that they would possibly be able to send the children to Palestine then, but Israel now. And uh, my mother had to make the choice It's haunted me for a long, long time and still now. We had to 
take nothing and tell no one where we were going. We got on a train and the rest of the trip was done either by walking or sleigh. The first night we spent in a stable. We were lying on haystack and the horses were jumping up and down. My mother was very concerned because the men had been pained and what would happen if, if um, they didn't come back and we were left there. Eventually the men dropped us at my uncle's place in Budapest. Um, my uncle was living with another couple there. There was no way we could have stayed there and my uncle found us a room to live somewhere. I actually went to school for a little while. Eventually, we could no longer stay in Budapest. The Nazis were there. My uncle got us false paper, so I had a different name and we went into the most primitive country place that you could ever imagine. Next door to us, there was a Nazi camp, and my mother was constantly worried that I would wander off or something, so she was always watching me. Towards the end of the war, it looked like the Germans were uh, losing the war. The Russian soldiers came marching in. We were standing outside, and um, my mother was crying of joy because she now felt that the war was going to be over. My mother had a brother who came to Australia. When he found out that we were alive, he wanted us very much to come to Australia. We actually left Budapest in June uh, 1947 and arrived six months later in Australia. An animal kills because he needs to eat and humans kill for no reason but to kill. You know, it's just, it's horrible. Be kind to your neighbor. If you see somebody uh, that is down, go and talk to them. Uh, aren't I lucky that I can sit here and still talk? <laughs> Courage to Care e exhibitions are necessary because it gives you examples of people who made a difference in this world.